Hi. Hi. What country are you citizens? Uh, which country am I citizens? Canada. Well, what country are both of you citizens? Is what I was asking. Both of us are from Canada. How do you two know each other? We're married. Where are you going tonight? Uh, fashion outlet mall. For what? For shopping. Where at? Where in? What is it? What's the address? Nine, uh, Niagara Falls. Niagara oh, Falls. Okay. Which stores? I don't know. Does it matter? Oh, what stores? <laughs> we haven't. We haven't. We haven't set out our our our, our, our you see your keys, please. My keys? Yes, your keys right now. Your keys. 1022 to lane one, two occupants, United States of America. No, I understand, but okay, I'm... Okay, so if I ask you questions, I'm I don't answering. expect to get responses like, does it matter? I expect to get the responses to the questions... You ask me which store I'm going to. Yeah, if you're... I don't know. Shopping, I don't know what store I'm going to. Be quiet. Get out of the vehicle. Okay. <sighs> any weapons, any phones I get? No. No, leave them all in the car. Leave those headphones in the car. Okay. All right, over this one. Over that way. For what reason? Take a seat. For what reason? Take a seat. Ridiculous. I said, why do I have to sit down? Take a seat. Why do I have to sit down? Take a seat. Okay. One Elm Drive in Mississauga. Okay, where are you trying to go today? We're trying to go to the Fashion Outlet Mall in Niagara Falls, I believe. Okay. I'm not sure. He asked me, the, the question that I was asked was, which store am I going to specifically? I don't know. My wife and I are going to walk around the mall. Okay. And I was I was told to come and sit down. I asked, "What's the reason?" He just said, he kept yelling. This gentleman right here kept yelling, "Sit down, sit down, sit down." So he wouldn't give me a reason. What well, if the officer tells you to do something? Well, I need to know why. Oh, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Okay. You're a Canadian citizen. Yes, right? I am. But I'm not going to obey orders if I don't understand the reason for them. <laughs> the officer tells you to come inside and sit down. You come inside and sit down. Uh huh. Okay. But do you understand where I'm coming from? Like why? Because you, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna interview. Okay. We're gonna, uh, On what ground? Like what's we don't need any grounds. Well, that's ridiculous. Okay, that's the United States. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. You don't need any grounds for your actions. Absolutely not. Well, that's ridiculous. Are, are, are we are we causing any bodily harm to you? No. No. Am I causing any bodily harm to you? No. Okay. But when the officer tells you to do something, you do it. And there's no reason required. Absolutely not. Well, that, okay. 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 And. So what am I supposed to do now? Let me talk. I'm not I'm just trying to. Well, no, because you don't like. Really out here. I'm just trying to make sure. You but you just told me you don't have to give me a reason for what you're doing. You're absolutely right. I don't. So then, what, what are you trying to like? I'm gonna I'm gonna interview you. Okay. I'm gonna check you. Uh huh. I'm gonna when I check, probably dump your pockets. Make sure. All okay. For safety purposes. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, take a seat for me. Okay. Is this your girlfriend? It's my wife. Okay. Uh huh. And we're gonna verify your intent. That's what we're doing. You My intent's you? clear, but you your, can verify. Your intent's clear? I'm going to go shopping. Okay, that's what you say. Okay. Unfortunately, in, in my line of work... Uh-huh. Okay. I, I work with law enforcement agencies all the time in Canada, so I know I know your line of work okay. quite well. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know how the law works a little bit. Okay. Yeah. That's Canadian law. Well, no, I know the U.S. law, too. At least, it's not like I'm coming from Iraq or something. You know, Canada is not so much different huh. than... Really? Really? Have you been to Canada? Keep digging there. Have you been to Canada? Have you been to Canada? Yes, you been I have. I've okay, been and it's so North much North. different than the U.S., is it? Listen, we have to worry about terrorists, money, drugs, illegal. I'm areas. not a terrorist. I didn't say you were. Okay, so, so I'm telling about. the things that I look that, that we look for. I understand, but you're looking at the wrong guy. Do you do you think that everybody has like a terrorist on their forehead, drug dealer on their forehead? I don't know. Alien smuggler. I have no idea. That's your line of work. I, don't, I have no idea. I'm just telling you. You say that you deal with with law enforcement. Yeah. All the time. Okay. But they don't pick on guys who clearly have no interest in terrorizing their country. I'm not picking on you. I'm just trying to interview you. No, I don't, think, I don't think you are, but I think you're the first level okay, well, person who was interviewing you. We, we ask very detailed and personal questions. Okay. Just so we can verify what you say. Okay, example. Where are you going? Go to my uncle's house. Where does he live? He lives in New York City. Where? Give me an address. Give me a phone number because I might call your uncle and say, is, is your is your nephew coming on coming down to see see you today? Uh huh. This is what we do. Okay. That's how detailed we get. That's how personal. Okay, we get. I've been here through numerous times. Never had those kind of Do, questions. Doesn't asked. matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Previous times don't matter. Okay. If if the officer feels like he wants. No, you want you want to see where I think your officer doesn't like me and just wants to use the the bureaucracy as an excuse. I, I don't. To yeah, I don't. Can we just forget what with the. Well, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. I understand. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm not being disrespectful to you personally. I think that, the, that there's something wrong with the process. 
Anyway, well, go ahead. Well, if you're upset with the process, there's nothing I can do for you. I understand. This is what we do. You, you said, how many times have you crossed within the last oh, year? Oh, year. I don't know. I have no. I, maybe if, twenty times. No, not that many times. No, maybe less than ten. Okay. Every once in a while, we're going to send you inside, inside this office. Uh huh. We're going to interview you. We're going to search your car. We're going to search your person. We're going to, you know, whatever we feel like we we. we Level of search we need to we need to go to. Okay. That's what we're gonna do, just to verify your story. Okay. And people that say, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm going shopping to the mall. Sometimes people lie to us. Okay. And they say, you know what? And they go and they go meet with somebody and they drop off a load of drugs or they drop. Do you honestly think I'm lying to you? I don't see. Listen. Do you honestly think I'm lying to you? Do I honestly think you're lying to me? Yeah. No. Okay. But unfortunately, I can't. In my line of work, I can't believe everybody. Okay. But we're talking about me right now. If I believe We're talking about me right now. Can I finish? Uh -huh. If I believe everybody, mm -hmm. I would never find anything. I wouldn't. I wouldn't find seizures. I wouldn't find. How many drugs. terrorists do you find coming across the border? You want. You want to know what? You'll be surprised. You'll be very surprised. I would say three a day. Three terrorists. A day. From Canada. That you don't know about. Okay. Do you think that you think we, that we put every single possible terrorist in the newspaper and say no, he was encountered at the Lewiston Bridge? I'm just curious. Three, and I'm not saying here at the Lewiston Bridge. I'm saying in the Port of Buffalo, Lewiston, oh, okay. Rainbow, and Peace Bridge. I would say three a day. Okay, sit down, Lily. Sit down. Sit down. I'm having, trying to have a discussion. Just go here. sit down. Why? Well, just want to. No, no. I'll tell you later. Just go sit down. The guy was asking which store I'm going. To I know. I know. I, I've explained this to him. No, 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 no. Just sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You see, we see this. It's all unnecessary. Nam, totally unne Nam, totally Nam. unnecessary. Nam. Oh yeah, you're an American citizen. I can shake my head at you too, man. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hold on a second. Okay. That's not a threat. Is that a threat? No, it wasn't. Don't right. start making threats, my. I'm not making threats. Okay. Is he Canadian? Yeah. Yeah. You're making threats. I'm not officer? making a threat. I am not making a threat. What are you trying to do? I'm not making a threat. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Stop, man. Stop. 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 Okay. Okay. Sit down. Okay. 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 I I don't I don't want to meet, I don't mean any trouble to you. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was okay. 15 minutes ago when this all this bullshit started. Okay. All right. What's going on? Nothing. I'm not, I've just been through a lot of stress in my job. All right. That's all. I I all right. I don't I don't, I don't, I don't okay. Sir, listen. Listen. I, I don't want to hear you. I don't want to. I'm the supervisor here today. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna talk. We're gonna find out what's going on. Okay. Right now, you're in a lot of trouble. Okay. You ever been arrested? No. Okay. Have you ever heard of anything called obstruction of justice? Uh, yes, I have. Where do you think you are right now? In America. More specifically, where do you think you are? In a prison? No, you're in an international federal inspection station. Okay, okay. Do you think it's a good idea mm -hmm. for you to come in here to raise your voice, to get irate, and then to turn around and threaten? And you did threaten, trust me, everything that was said, we have on audio and video. Okay. To threaten a federal officer with physical violence? No, I don't think it's going to Okay, do and as soon as you pulled away from my officers when they went to grab your arm? Yeah. Okay, that's assault. Okay. Okay? Uh -huh. Do you understand what's going on here? Yeah. You really understand how much trouble you're in right now? You're going to jail. Is this worth it? No. A little bit late for apologies. I'm sorry. Your I'm... apologies were when you started to get irate with the officers out there. Okay. okay. Do you think we're here just because we have nothing better to do? No, I don't. Why are we here? To protect we're here the United States. To protect States. the United States yes. and Canada. Yes. Okay, you're coming in to shop in our I'm, I'm totally sorry about this. And look what you did to your, your girlfriend. Please. Your I, wife I, I, out just there. for my wife, please. Okay, please. she's locked up too. I, do you I, know why she's locked up? Because she grabbed another one of the officers out there I know. when they were restraining you. So okay. she's going to jail too. Okay. All right? 